Hey, what's going on on YouTube? So today I'm checking out my light on my Lear uh, camper shell, and guess what? It doesn't work. So guess what? We gotta change it out. So watch. So this is my 2001 Tacoma, and like I said, the brake light doesn't work. So what do we do about this? Well, I'll show you. First things first. You see this light here? Well, there's like double stick tape on the bottom. And you're gonna have to pry it to get that, that tape loose. But once it comes off, it comes off, all right? So there's a little bit of caulking here and I'm gonna clean this up here and I'm gonna remove this light. So now I have the re light removed. Um, Here's what it looks like, the old one, kind of dingy and nasty, that little end came off, so that's no good. So here's the replacement that I bought on eBay. Uh, it's manufactured by American Technology uh, Components. Um, it's got 3M tape, it's pretty high quality, uh, I like it, so there you can compare the difference of the two. A little bit different, huh? I don't know if this one's faded or just a different design, but you know, I picked this up for $26 and change. So I might, prices might go up, but I couldn't complain for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to clean that. Doggy. So here's what I'm going to use to clean it. Of course, wear your safety glasses. I'm going to use my vice grips, needle nose, uh, a brand new razor blade, uh, of course, towel, and a degreaser. So what I do with the razor and the needle nose, I, I fix them real tight together, and so we have a nice strong. With lots of leverage, we can clean that off real good. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna spray down the tr So look how nasty that is, ugh, right? Look at that. So we're gonna spray this stuff here, let it soak in for a little bit, five, 10 minutes. Just let that stuff just penetrate, get all the nastiness out of there, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your razor, and you're gonna get off all the, the uh, exit old 3M tape that was on here. Okay, so you go ahead and do that. So when you're doing this, be careful not to take off too much of the paint on your shell here. And there, see, I have a little bit of a um, little bit of that nubby still left in that hole. So I gotta remove that next, and then I'm gonna have to find some silicone. So here's the clean surface. All that dirt and grime's gone. We're gonna get some silicone and we're gonna pop this little nodule out here and then we're gonna seal this and we're gonna send our new wires through that hole. And then once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put this tape on here. So let's, let's go ahead and switch to that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take and route the wires inside the hole. Alright, goes in there, out, out as much as you can first, okay. Okay, so once you got this wire fed through there, you're going to have this little black nodule here. So after that, you get to that point, you're going to use some silicone. I'm not really sure what brand this is or what, I mean there's a brand, but I don't know if it's any good or what not. But you want a silicone. So I want to go ahead and put it on there. So once you get that silicone on there, you're gonna spread it, you're gonna push that thing in there and then you're gonna spread the silicone. Just like that. So next what you want to do is you're gonna take the tape off the bottom. So when you take this tape off, you're gonna push it in there and then set that light in there. So let's see if I can do that here. One hand. It's pretty good tape. So I'm gonna use both hands to do this. So you're gonna take the tape off 
here and the other side and then once you do that you got to be real quick put that this light where it needs to be in that hole all right so here we go so here we go I like this tapes off push it in there get it straight so once you got that on there like that push it down that's real nice you're gonna have a little gap back there you can see it so you're gonna take that silicone you're gonna refloat it in there There's, it doesn't fit as good as original but it looks good out here it flips nice and flush so I'm pretty happy with that I can live with it I might put some rubber mold or whatever suits your taste but no one's gonna look at it up there I'm gonna take this protective plastic off just pull it off real nice there you go a nice new light so just follow your wiring like it was before on your shell uh, wire that up all right so here's our light it's installed does that look nice looks nice I like it so uh, comment below and subscribe and if you have any more ideas or questions uh, don't uh, be shy and give me a good message or thumbs up uh, also I'll put a link below of the light uh, which one I got so if it's my Tacoma Lear uh, camper shell so just uh, yeah enjoy I hope this helped and have a great day